So basically, people just t- uh, soloed a uh, tier 14 in the archways of Enoch. Uh, first try on my new build. Um, and I thought, why not? I'm just going to look around, try and find Enoch tier 15. And we're going to run it first time, people, live for you guys with this new build, which I will say. By the time you watch this video, you'll probably find it on YouTube already. If that is the case, you'll find it linked below. Or if this gameplay goes good, it's probably in the background of that video. But yes, we're going to go for this live, people. First time, first time, first time, first time. Tier 15. Let's go. Let's go. Now, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so what this build is, and I'll try and speak about it while I'm actually getting spanked by uh, all these crazy little lads who are no doubt going to obliterate me. Because from 14 to 15, there's a massive difference. Uh, on 14, it wasn't too bad. But on uh, 15, I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit harder. Okay, so this build is basically, um, it was a challenge for me because... Come and chase me, come and chase me. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh, boom, 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 boom. So this this was a challenge for me because every single build you see nowadays on YouTube is either based on twisted rounds and a shotgun or cyclone slice and bottom tree. Obviously, uh, twisted rounds, shotgun top tree is absolutely crazy in terms of damage output, but no one shows any love to middle tree. So I thought, why not? There's a challenge in that. I'm going to try my hardest to make an efficient build where I can solo tier 15 using middle tree and that's what we are doing the build is already well it's more or less completed there's a few changes that can be made to make it probably better but um it's a build based on middle tree no shotguns in sight no twisted rounds in sight and to be honest it's quite efficient people it really is now that's all you're probably wondering what am I doing what am I shooting what's happening here so I checked out a weapon the other day, which Diego sells by the way, called the Juggler. On the Juggler there's a tier 3 mod called Scrap Grenade. Scrap Grenade, after every reload, the first shot also shoots out an anomaly projectile, which is what you're seeing come out of my one shot VAR right here. So when I was checking out this weapon, you probably saw the video I posted on the Juggler. I thought, and I think I probably said in that video as well, that this mod could be seriously interested on those one shot VARs because with every shot you get the anomaly projectile so I, I tried it out and I thought you know what this is actually quite good it's actually quite efficient but for well when I first tried out I was using top tree with twisted rounds which is completely pointless on it because you literally get two shots but um, even with the the mod that gives you two clips you get two shots so I thought you know what I'm gonna try something a diff little different here I'm gonna make a build middle tree using this and it's well, wow, it's amazing. I've been doing it, well, building it, tweaking it, messing around with it for the past week. And what I have now is more or less finalized. And it, basically the middle tree goes toe in toe with this build, with this weapon, with this scrap grenade, because, um, and I've tested Foley people. I just tested this Foley. No matter how much close range damage you have on, no matter how much bonus firepower you have on, nothing seems to. Uh, affect the anomaly uh, grenade, the anomaly projectile that you shoot out. It just is depend. Only the only thing that changed it is the level of the weapon. So a level 50 weapon, that's maximum. You ain't gonna get no more powerful than that. I'm a little slow here, to be honest. I mean, I did this on the 40, and I think I was out of there by just over two minutes. So yeah, this is gonna be a stretch, people. But you know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, but yeah, I tried and tested everything to try and get that anomaly projectile to do more damage wasn't having anything besides obviously making the enemies more vulnerable making them a little weaker you do more damage in that aspect uh, in that manner but other than that there's nothing you can do and that's why middle tree actually um it, it partners this this weapon and this this build quite good because it means i can also concentrate on maximum health and shield and to be honest that's what i really missed when I was using top tree, I mean, if you ran head first into a group of ads and you got your shotgun out and you're getting chucked from behind and this, that and the other, I mean, you're missing out on that ammo, I mean, sorry, that health and that shield. And with this, it's the complete opposite. Well, if ads, I mean, 
that's the best thing about this build actually. I mean, it's single target damage, which we'll talk about in a second. It's single target damage isn't incredible. But when there's a group of adds together, this thing takes them out. I mean, on tier 15, it's probably a couple of shots in some cases, but most of the time it's one shot. Uh, but yeah, if there's a group of ads, and you'll see as I do it here, I run around and let all the ads build up and just shoot the ground. Obviously, I'll use my abilities first, and then shoot the ground and just blow them all up. And that's what's great about this. That is what's great about this build. I can survive and I can take out groups of ads at the same time. Now, the downside to it is that single target damage because, like I said, obviously firepower and all that good stuff affects the weapon shot, but it doesn't affect the anomaly projectile. So. With my armor mods, I'm looking for obviously bonus firepower. Um, and I also tried to find a one shot VAR which had a mod on it already. Because remember, you can only apply one mod to it. And if I'm applying the scrap grenade to my one shot VAR, then I obviously can't apply another mod to it. So I have to look for one which has got a decent mod on it already, which is good for that single target damage. And the best one I've found, and I've tried them all, guys, the best one for me is definitely uh, Death Chain. I've tried uh, Claymore, I've tried the one, the tier 2 version of what drops on the Thunderbird, I can't remember what it's called, you know the one that shoots lightning down, I've tried that, but to me it's it's definitely Death Chain, especially for that single target damage, it just deals like 200k or almost 200k over 3 seconds, so it's just much much better for me, so I went with that, and although the, the firepower on this one shot VAR is only about 70k, there's much much higher ones out there, it's still quite good. And also in terms of single target damage, obviously we've got the projectile which we can't adjust, we can't make it any more powerful. But in terms of firepower um, and the, uh, the blah, 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 what we're talking about people, I've just lost it, I've lost track, seeing that big dude here, it's going to be a stretch, you're looking at the time as well, it's going to be a stretch. But in terms of firepower and single target damage and death chains, um, I've gone for on my armors, I've gone for like obviously bonus firepower, close range damage. They are absolutely crucial. Like I said, nothing else really affects uh, the anomaly projectile. So you want to really, if you can, try and buff the the firepower of your weapon for that single target damage when you're left one on one with a boss and you're shooting a projectile, you're shooting a shot, you're hitting the boss. You want maximum damage uh, where you want to get as much as you can. I'm not going top three with the trickster. You don't get much firepower, bonus firepower. So my armors have gone for obviously close range damage bonus firepower and uh, ability cooldown which is very important as well because like I said with this build using middle tree going right the way to the far right on the harbinger tree you get come on what the mud is called now and I'm having trouble trying to dodge this dude here and this is going to be a stretch but yeah when you two of the three abilities I'm using here besides the middle one I can never remember what that middle one's called we've got Venator's knife and we've got the um, time rift and these as soon as I proc these I get a shield back Oh, I get shield, which is very important, obviously, because you don't do maximum damage. You get shot from all angles, shot from all angles. You need to be able to get that shield back as soon as possible. So these two with relatively fast cooldowns, thanks to uh, a couple of mods as well and skill tree perks, I get my shield back more or less. Well, I've always, I've always got it. I mean, you're seeing it now. Um, it's so slow to go down. I mean, so so slow. I mean, in, in, in some instances, it don't even go down. So yeah, that is one thing I actually concentrated on. Now the middle um, ability, like I said, I can't remember what it was called. I'm trying to think, but nope, can't remember. Um, the middle ability, I've got a couple of mods on my armor that when I prop this, I get bonus firepower. Again, helps for that close range single target damage. And I also get armor and resistance, which is very important, like I said. So my three abilities are basically there to help me my time rift uh, drops, uh, well, makes the enemies more vulnerable, so I can do more damage. My Venice's knife tags them, so I can do more anomaly uh, or damage on first shot. And my middle one's basically for firepower and shield as well, so I get shield from all three. And it's more or less, when one runs out, I got the other one back, which is perfect. So yeah, it's a weird build, it's a crazy build. Like I said, I've been trying and testing everything for the past week. And I think I've finally got to a stage now where I think it's quite good. I think on my R, on my legs, I've got one perk or one mod I can play with. Um, I think on the minute, at the minute I've got a damage absorber, which is obviously a great, uh, a great uh, mod, but I'm not sure how much I actually need that. I'm not sure how much I actually need that. I mean, 
my health ain't dropped that far but then again I ain't got into the final the final area yet when I get to the final area it's probably going to change I'm probably going to be glad I've got that damage absorber on but there's also other mods where after reload you get a bonus firepower for eight seconds is it or every reload you get bonus firepower which is great for this because you're constantly reloading um you can get other things as well so yeah i'll probably try to uh, test a few others but right now it's quite good and we're 10 minutes guys 10 minutes this is going to be a stretch this is going to be a major stretch oh. the problem here is the way you got them flying annoying and flying ugly ass butterflies that just do your head in poison spouting poison that you're slowing you down so this is going to be close guys it's going to be probably a fail or like a supreme clutch but we will see we will see boom that's what we're talking about ba -ba 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 boom 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 in terms of mods i've gone a lot for the time rift in terms of range uh doubling the air time and uh vulnerability i mean it's a must so yeah uh, it's probably the most important ability i'm using here i could actually probably substitute Venator's knife for uh, the temple blade i probably could do that uh, but i think i don't know i think i probably got more benefits from the uh the Venator's, uh blade or knife because it cools down way quicker so fast so fast i don't think i got cool down mud on it Besides of one on the uh, skill tree I've got selected. So yeah. Oh man, okay, okay, yeah. I'm glad I got damage absorber on people. Look at my health! Shit! <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, I'm getting spanked. Oh man, oh man, it's so much harder on a, a tier 15 compared to tier 14. I think all my arm besides one is a 50 as well. I know the firepower on the weapon, like I said, is a bit low. Considering you can get up to 90k I've seen. Probably higher than that. This is like 70, 71, so yeah. You're going down, big boy. You are going get it down. Bop, 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 bop. I'm going to need ammo. I'm going to need ammo. I need ammo. Come on, come on. Oh dear people. Oh, I haven't got long left. What, three minutes? I haven't got long left at all. No, I've got four minutes. I've got four minutes. We could actually do this. We could actually do this. We could actually do this. What is it? 15 minutes, 57 seconds. Hmm. These things I hate. These things I hate. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's two. There's two brood mothers that come now, aren't there? Oh yeah, this is gonna be the tightest. But if, if you've seen this video, guys, I clutch it. Put it that way. <laughs> or I fail. Or I fail at the last second. That's it. That's it. I actually, may use this for the background gameplay for the uh, build as well because it just demonstrates how good this can be demonstrates how good this can be yeah death chains is a must it's great damage i think it's only three seconds Yeah, that's the thing as well, people are noticing that about this weapon. There's a couple of things that's dodgy about it. When you use Time Rift and they're up in the air and you try and shoot them, they normally go straight through them. They normally go straight through them. And if you're used to or you've used this Scrap Grenade mod before, you've probably encountered the bug where you load into somewhere and you don't get the anomaly, you just get the shot. <laughs> Your weapon shoots, but you don't get... The I'm so dead here. <sighs> Yeah, you load into somewhere you don't get the, sh uh, the anomaly through it until you just get a shot. Um, I've had that a few times, I've actually figured out why it happens. It happens when you shoot the weapon loading into somewhere. So you know if you say move destination and the screen goes dark and you shoot it, that, that causes it. Or if a cutscene is about to happen and you shoot the weapon, that causes it as well. So yes, if you're going into cutscenes, just switch weapon, <laughs> just don't shoot it, whatever. 
I am getting butchered here people this is going to be so close I've got little over a minute and a half I ain't doing this not a chance not a chance I'll still use the gameplay though because it does still demonstrate uh, how good it can be and the one weapon I reckon would make this a little bit more better is the um, the Molten Idola that's a one shot legendary VAR it's got something called is it like Revenous Locust or something which is a great perk now uh, if I put the scrap grenade on that it'd be even better it would be even better Oh, I've got under a minute. I'm so done. There's not a chance I'm doing this. There's not a chance I'm doing this. Pay Paul. Pay Paul. Oh, I needed that so bad. I know there's a mod as well uh, called the Grand Open. I can't remember what that is. Is that on the Darkness Charmer? Is that what that drops on? Um, and that could be a decent mod for this. And the problem is you have to actually hit a target to trigger that with this it's just every shot after you reload you can shoot the throw which is what I do with groups of ads oh I'm, I'm not a chance not a chance I'm doing this not a chance I'm doing this come on oh, oh. Clutch your ever witness. Did they hit gold? Did they hit gold? <laughs> Five seconds, people. Five seconds, people. Screenshotting that. Screenshotting that. Wow. Ridiculous. Guys. Now, please, please give me that more in the dollar. But I guarantee I don't get no legendaries. I am so unlucky when it comes to uh, um, these expeditions. Soloed, challenged here 15, first time with this build, trying it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go, come on, come on. Don't be stingy, come on, don't be stingy. Two legendaries, people! Mod menu has been activated. Oh, 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 oh. Both of them are a bit, bit cheeky. Both of them are a bit cheeky. Yes, 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 people. But I'm definitely going to upload this to YouTube now. Um, and guys, like I said, if you're interested in this build, if it's already on YouTube, I'll link it down below within the video description. It's not your, your everyday speed running build. It's a different, it's something a little different, a little challenge. And if that's what you want, if you want to take this and improve it, you can. Like I said, it will be linked down below. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. It really helps out. And hopefully, I will see you on that next one.